Hey everyone, today I'd like to show you the Plan B Model 24 Heisenberg generator. The Model 24 is actually two independent random voltage generators contained in one module. Uh, the upper half here generates a smooth output, whereas the lower half generates a stepped or quantized random output. Uh, both halves have controls for deviation and the mean. Um, if my finger here were to represent the point of deviation, the deviation control is how much the voltage will deviate from that center point. And the mean just basically shifts that whole range positive or negatively. And both halves have those exact same controls, except on the stepped output, there's an additional attenuator for the control voltage input of the deviation. Uh, another difference between the smooth section and the step section is how their clocks are controlled. On the smooth section, the clock is controlled by the chaos knob here. Uh, the chaos knob also controls simultaneously the amount of smoothing or the, the lag time. So the higher the chaos knob is turned, you can see the light changing colors, the faster the clock as well as shorter the amount of lag time. And likewise, if it's low, the chaos knob is lower, longer lag time, slower the clock. So you get less random voltages. <laughs> um, the step section, the clock is controlled by the period knob. And actually, this is really more like a meter or a tempo control. The clock is, is random, but it's quantized to beat values based on the tempo or meter setting uh, of this knob. So it could randomly go to a dotted eighth or a dotted sixteenth to a half note to a quarter note, but it's always going to be some beat division of this knob. And that ends up being one of the cooler features of the module because you get these very musical and kind of natural performance sounding uh, random steps. Um, but if you don't like that, if you just want it to have a, a regular kind of sample and hold like a steady clock, you can use the external trigger input here and that completely overrides whatever's set here. Unfortunately you can't get the random quantizations from that, but you just override the period. Lastly, the module has a source out, which is basically the digital noise, and a trigger out, which is really handy for triggering other events like envelopes or or anything like that and let's actually set up a patch and I'll do just that. Alright, this is a pretty simple patch. The stepped output here is going to a Dalek modulator. Uh, we're actually just listening to the one oscillator as a sine wave. Um, that's going to a VCA which is being opened by a Model 10 polyphonic envelope which is getting triggered here by the trigger out. So basically what's happening is every time we have a new random voltage here trigger out goes to the envelope which opens it up so we can hear it and we have a new volume so basically we get a bunch of different random pluck notes and here's exactly what that sounds like Okay, so here's a slight variation on that last patch. Uh, same thing, the trigger out here is going to the Model 10 polyphonic envelope, which is opening up the VCA. The stepped output here is still going to control the Dalek's uh, one oscillator there, sine wave. But this uh, input going into the VC mean is actually the aux output of a dual cyclotron. And with the Model 24, if you turn the mean all the way down, 
and you have some voltage coming in here, you're basically using this as a standard sample and hold. Uh, the voltage coming in here is your sample voltage um, and the clock we're going to be using with the period control here. And then I'll actually uh, plug in an external trigger from the Model 28 tap clock which is sitting right next to it. So you can see it go from the sort of random yet still quantized clock to just a regular eighth note. And the VC mean knob now, even though we're using this to sample and hold, basically becomes an offset. So you crank this up, it offsets the incoming voltage. Okay, so now for a little more complicated. The smoothed out, well, well let's start from here. Basically it's the same patch as before. Um, the dual cyclotron output is being used as a sample voltage and we've got it kind of in a sample and hold situation. However, this time trigger out still goes and triggers the polyphonic envelope, but the polyphonic envelope's end of cycle trigger output comes back in here as the Model 24's external trigger. So basically what that means is every time there's a new stepped voltage, the envelope triggers. When the envelope completes its attack and decay, it triggers the 24 again. So it's in a little loop, so it's pacing itself, so to speak. Um, the smooth output, which again is on its own clock, is actually controlling the length of attack and decay of the polyphonic envelope. So in a way, it's kind of controlling the clock for the stepped output, if that makes sense. It's, it's a lot easier to hear. Here it goes. Oh yeah, added a little delay for taste. I'll let this play us out. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in next time for what I think will be the dual cyclotron demo. Thanks for listening.